Trauma is any kinetic injury that occurs to, to people in a wide range of circumstances. Can be The most common thing, believe it or not, is a, a fall. The things that we deal with in terms of serious injury tend to be motor vehicle collisions, various types of uh, penetrating trauma, which is gunshot wounds, stabbings, uh, industrial accidents, those types of things. It's the leading cause of death for folks from age one through about 47. It's the leading cause of life years lost. A lot of folks think about cancer and heart disease, but if you have cancer and heart disease at age 80, you'll lose about 10 years. But if you get in a car crash, then you lose 30, 40, or 50 years of life. The economic impacts, uh, the greatest influence on life expectancy, but it also it's debilitating for many people. So in terms of loss of pr productivity, uh, able to take care of themselves. If you take something, for example, traumatic brain injury, that's something that's life-changing, uh, not only for the individual, but often for their, their family and their, the people who care for them. So the limitations on the way we take care of trauma patients are actually pretty substantial. It's been considered a uh, technical issue, if you will, by the NIH and a lot of people for a long time. If you just drive faster to the hospital, operate faster on the bleeding wounds that the patients will do well. And what we've shown is that we need to have high quality prospective randomized studies to drive care. Multistem is an investigational advanced therapy medicinal product. Specifically, it's a cell therapy that's derived from the bone marrow of consenting adult donors and expanded ex vivo. It's an off-the-shelf product, which means that it can be prepared and administered rapidly to patients without the need for tissue type matching or the need for immunosuppressive drugs prior to its administration. The trauma trial has been designed as a single-center, double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trial evaluating multi-stem for treatment of patients suffering severe hemorrhagic trauma. As a practicing emergency physician and helicopter EMS physician, as well as my duties here at Athersys as medical director leading our clinical development programs, I am, of course, tremendously excited about the opportunity to evaluate multi-stem for the treatment of patients with serious injuries. DOD, through the vehicle of MTEC, uh, selected our site, UT Houston, Memorial Hermann, uh, and MTEC in a collaboration to fund a, a critically important study that's never been done before. Houston was important in this because it's one of the busiest trauma centers in the United States. We have a very high volume of patients coming in. Military background within our Department of Surgery is, is very strong. I was a reservist and was deployed in the very first part of the war in Afghanistan. I was in the Army for 23 years. I had the opportunity to really focus my research efforts and energy on stopping bleeding and improving the outcome of patients after we stop bleeding in the intensive care unit and in the rehab, rehabilitation phase. From around 2005, 2006, I first met Willie Mays, who's the uh, head of neurosciences at Athersys. And my core focus in um, cell-based therapies at the time was related to traumatic brain injury. They had a program that was pursuing the use of multi-stem in stroke patients. Multi-stem functions to reduce the inflammatory response to an injury. And that's, uh, a little bit of inflammation is good. A lot of inflammation, uncontrolled inflammation, causes secondary organ injury and it was clear to us that we thought that there was a common underlying pathophysiology related to this systemic uh, inflammatory response syndrome through which uh, we knew the cells were working in the other uh, neurologic conditions and so we thought it would probably provide benefit in, in the trauma setting as well. Our clinical trial is a unique partnership between the military and their, their contracting arm called MTEC, Memorial Hermann Hospital System, UT Health, an atherosis who, is, who, who makes multi-stem, this stem cell based therapeutic. Multi-stem comes in and it's an off-the-shelf product. And so you could have these, these products ready, you have to thaw them. You're in this time compressed time frame where all of the preclinical animal data say you have to get as close to the injury time as possible. You can't do that with autologous MSCs, you can do that with multi-stem. 
We intend to compare multi-stem to placebo in up to 156 patients who have suffered severe traumatic injury. The product will be given shortly after bleeding has been controlled by stabilizing treatments. The goal is to administer the investigational product as early as possible during the time window defining the onset of the inflammatory cascade that occurs after trauma. Treatment will be given shortly after patients arrive into the intensive care unit from the operating room or angiography suite where procedures to control bleeding have been performed. What we think will happen after a trauma takes place in a patient um, when we give multi-stem, you know, we know that the inflammatory response is overt. There's too much uh, engagement of the peripheral immune system, too many cytokines to the n numerous sites of injury uh, in the trauma. We know from our previous preclinical work in stroke and traumatic brain injury and spinal cord injury that by giving our cells, we basically mitigate or dampen this acute inflammatory response. I think it's important to understand that multi-stem is an investigational product that is not approved by the FDA for generalized use and is still being studied in clinical trials. We are all really looking forward to this trial. Um, Personally, I've spent a lifetime working in the area of stopping bleeding, both pre-hospital in the hospital, military, and civilian, getting folks through that first couple hours of severe trauma. And uh, we have decreased the incidence of multi-organ failure and ARDS and acute kidney injury, but it hadn't gone away. And the patients who get those diseases, they don't do very well. They have a lot of problems. They stay in the hospital for a long time, have a lot of complications. They're on the ventilator. It's, it's very difficult time for the patients and for their families. Uh, if we can decrease that uh, disease process of ischemia reperfusion, all of it together, the patients will do better, the families will do better, they'll get out of the hospital faster. Dr. Cox, Dr. Wade, Dr. Holcomb have all been great to work with. We at Atherses are very grateful for the assistance we've received from MTech as well as the cooperation and effort we've experienced working with researchers and staff at UT Health and Memorial Hermann. The reason I love to get up every morning and come to work every day is because uh, I love working with the people at Atherosis. I love the research that we're doing. I think we're really going to make a difference in people's lives. Couldn't be anything better. Changing people's lives, that makes a difference.